Greetings of the day. This is Swarup Shah from IHM Kolkata presenting one of the menus from the National Council syllabus. The menu comprises of cabbage shawder, shawder de shoe, pule ala rex, pom makis, and ratatwe. This is a two course menu which comprises of a soup. The main course consists of a chicken dish along with two accompaniments. One is a potato accompaniment, another is a veg accompaniment. Going into the brief of the menu, as far as cabbage shorter is concerned, if we have a look into the gastronomic background of shorter, shorter has got a varied gastronomic background. Shorter, as per the Manhattan areas, it's a hearty fish or shellfish stew mainly made from the clams. Flipping the pages of gastronomy, we can also see that there is a French connection. Chaudhar is a corruption of the word Chaudhier, which is cold wrong. And it originates from the cradles of the gastronomic influences of the Breton fisherman. This fisherman popularized the menu in Nova Scotia, New Brunswick and New England. In New England, shawder was made from fish, shellfish, salt pork, and also from potatoes. They use milk. Manhattan replaced the milk with tomatoes. And in US, especially in the northern and the eastern US, corn was also used as a part of the shawder. So, in today's menu, we have got a cabbage and a potato shawder. We shall go into the details of the ingredients once we are through with the menu brief. Next we have got pule ala rex. As the name pule suggests, it's a dish made out of chicken. Now rex, rex is a Latin word which is having a monarchical connection. So we can say it's a monarchical chicken and truly so. We finish the chicken with a creamy rich velute and flavors enhanced by the use of mushroom along with oil stewed bell peppers. Heart shaped croutons add more value to the presentation and the texture difference of the dish. Along with that, we have got palm marquis. Again, going back into the gastronomic history of marquis. There was a post among the noblemen of France, which was between the Duke and the Earl or the Count. That post was known as Marquise. The lady of the Marquise is Marquis. The dish is designed after the design of the ring of the Marquis, which has got an oval shaped ring with a dot of diamond. Herein we will see how we can use a douche potato mixture to create that same appearance. And that diamond will be a dot of concasse. Next we move into Ratatouille. Ratatou is a dish from the nice region of France. Its simplicity also makes it the peasant's dish, the culinary simplicity I mean. If you break up the word, rata refers to chunks and tuye is a French verb which means to stir up. So it's basically a medley of vegetables comprising mainly of aubergines, zucchini, blanched tomatoes and onions which is tossed in a garlic dominated corn casse, mildly flavored with basil, sweet basil. Now with that, we go into the details of the ingredients which we require for the soup. So for the soup, and since it's a vegetarian soup, we need a vegetable stock, which will be mildly thickened with the pure money. For the flavoring of the soup, we have got condiments such as chopped onion, chopped garlic, chopped leek and chopped celery. The cabbage shorter will be consisting of peza of cabbage, definitely as the name suggests you. Along with that, some potatoes. Butter and olive oil will be used as a medium of cooking. And seasoning comprising of white pepper and salt. Now when we start making the dish, we have to also remember that there are two things which are specially added to the shorter. That is the milk, and some crushed crackers. 
which is to be added at the end. So as far as the procedure goes, we take a heavy bottom pan, cauldron, you remember? Now, we are taking the vegetable stock. It's a veg soup, so we need to use a neutral stock. In order to make the body of the soup, we need to mildly thicken it with pure money. Pure money is an uncooked mixture of equal proportions of refined flour and butter. We are adding some pure money. will allow this to infuse. In some of the cookbooks you will find that they have used blonde roux instead of pure money. But remember it originated from the Breton fisherman. So fishermen did not have that culinary technique of cooking a blonde roux and then putting it. So they made it very straight and simple. They used a mixture of butter along with refined flour and that's exactly what we are trying to portray. So pure money is getting slowly infused. If you think that the body is not enough hearty, you can add a little bit more of pure money. We'll cook it for some time so that the raw smell of the flour goes away. Your menu is infused. We have got the necessary thickening. Now for the smoothness. We are going to strain it. So we are now ready with the body of the soup. Now let's see how we can add the heart to it. For that, we need to flavor the soup with the condiments. So a dash of white oil. Along with some butter. We should never add only butter because of the fact that butter has got a low smoking point and addition of only butter will burn the butter very fast. So the butter has nicely melted. We add the flavoring ingredients one by one, some chopped onion.
chop garlic some chopped leek and some celery so the ingredients are now been cooked now we need to remember that the shoulder will be of a white color and it is very important while we are cooking the condiments it has to be cooked to the translucent stage and no color should be imparted to the condiments while they are getting cooked so translucent stage to this we add the potatoes the potatoes will be sweated that means it will be cooked in their own juices and whenever we are sweating any vegetable some amount of salt must be added to it the flame should be reduced to a minimum and this must be covered with a plate now we check yes the potato has been sweated so we are removing this now the stock and the pure money mixture is put in now we now slowly allow the flavor to infuse the addition of cabbage it should always be done at the end because we know cabbage is a delicate vegetable if we are adding the cabbage at the initial stage then the cabbage will lose its identity and the value of the soup will be lost okay now the milk can be added to the soup in order to adjust its consistency and also remember since we have added potatoes to the soup the starch of the potato will provide its mild thickening to the soup so we can add a little bit of milk to it for shawdar we should remember milk is also an essential ingredient so we have added the milk and now we continue cooking seasoning should be adjusted at the end now that when the soup is almost ready we just want the mellowing down of the cabbage the cabbage should not disintegrate and mix within the soup so remember when you are adding the cabbage the cooking time should be very minimum after that so we add the cabbage now so the cabbage has been added and we allow the cabbage to mellow down taking care that the cabbage does not lose its identity now we adjust the seasoning it's a off white colored soup so we should remember that we will be putting some white pepper not black pepper seasoning now been adjusted as a chef we should always like our own food and that's why before we plate it we taste it
perfect blend of flavors and an amazing seasoning. So far, so good. Now we are going for the final stage of finishing of the soup. To finish the soup, we are going to add a liazo of double cream and white wine. And finally with crushed crackers. A dash of double cream, some white wine, we prepare the liaso and we add it off the range. The liaso is added. And finally, the crushed crackers. Crackers infused, a final tasting. Soup is plated, garnished with a dash of cream. and some finely chopped parsley. So we are ready with the veg version of the classical Breton fisherman's chowder. This comprises of the cabbage as the main ingredient, the body being formed by a neutral stock along with pure money. So, a hearty cabbage soup. That's what cabbage chowder is. So having seen the hearty cabbage chowder, let me move on to the main course. Ule ala eggs. So the monarch's chicken. For this, we need a chicken breast. To marinate the chicken breast, we will use French mustard, salt, pepper, some olive oil along with white wine. The white marination which you have already covered in the semester 1 and 2 level. In order to provide the flavor to the Velute. Velute, remember, it's a combination of white stock along with blonde roux. Two in a different temperature for a perfect combination. As flavoring condiments, we are using chopped onion, garlic, leek, and celery. And to enhance the flavor and the taste, we are using bell peppers, mushrooms. As a finishing, We'll be using a white wine, egg yolk and double cream liasso. Ultimately for a difference of texture, we'll be using some heart shaped croutons. So we'll start with the marination of the chicken. We take some 
French mustard. Some wine. Dash of salt. Some pepper. And olive oil. So we are preparing the marination. We are now adding the chicken to the marination. An additional dash of wine from the top. This we now refrigerate for at least half an hour. In the meantime, when the chicken is trying to absorb the flavor of the marination, we can go for the making of the sauce. So we'll flavor the velouté with some condiments. We take some white oil along with a dash of butter. We allow it to melt. Once it has melted, we go for the addition of the condiments. Some chopped onion. Chopped garlic, some chopped leek, some chopped celery. Some olive oil can be added for some flavor. Since it is a velouté sauce, we have to ensure that the condiments are cooked to the translucent stage only. Any kind of browning at this stage will discolor the delicate color of the sauce. the velute and ensure that the flavors are getting infused. Once the flavors are infused, we strain the sauce. We'll saute the chicken lightly to ensure that there is a sealing and there isn't much loss of flavor. While sauteing the chicken, we need to ensure that there is no browning of the chicken because again, it has to be complement with the color of the sauce. The color of the sauce will be off-white again because 
It's a veluta based sauce. Now we are placing the Just a ceiling. Uh, it can be placed back in the tray where the magnesium liquor is there because we'll be using the magnesium liquor also as a part of the cooking. Now, we take the flavored velute. And add the chicken along with the marination liquor. So we need to taste it before we go for the final adjustment of the seasoning. Chicken is getting cooked. bell peppers and mushrooms and for some extra flavor we can use the same oil where the chicken was initially sauteed so I added the bell peppers Add in the mushroom. And we add it directly to the sauce. The necessary flavors will get infused. Now, when the chicken is cooked, we are just going to pick up the chicken to ensure that the softness or the succulent feeling inside the mouth should not go by its overcooking. To ensure the smooth velvety finish of the sauce, we have to finish it with a liasso of egg yolk, white wine and double cream. Take some egg yolk, then a dash of double cream, and white wine.
this is mixed and again this liasu is added off the range final before final finishing we go for the seasoning that would be good enough so sauce for the pulle ala rex is ready next we are preparing the potato accompaniment for that we are going to prepare a dushe potato mixture for that we have got mashed potato to that we will be adding some salt white pepper powder some freshly grated nutmeg egg yolk a dash of lemon juice and some double cream this is mixed together and the dushe potato mixture will be ready care is to be taken that when the mashed potato is prepared it should be absolutely smooth free of lumps we take an oven proof greased tray in which we are going to pipe the dushe potato we take a piping bag nozzle should be a little bigger So the ring of the lady markets we pipe the potato into an oval prepare a base followed by that nicely piped out into an oval now that we have prepared the potato ring now we are spooning the corn cas into this representing the diamond of the markets nicely spooned out so you're spooning the tomato corn casse into the groove representing the diamond of the ring of the markets next we'll grate it lightly in the salamander but before that 
to get a proper color we'll give it a egg yolk brush light and delicate so the structure holds and the shape stays now i am taking this to the salamander for its proper gratination Now we are proceeding to the veg accompaniment of the menu. Ratatouille. It's a speciality from the nice region of France. For that, we are going to put some olive oil. And we are going to flavor the olive oil with some garlic in the meantime when the olive oil is taking in the flavor of the garlic I'll tell you the other ingredients which are required for the ratatouille. Zucchini, some onion, some diced blanched tomatoes, fried aubergines and a medley of bell peppers. So all these ingredients would be tossed in that garlic flavored olive oil and followed by that we will be adding some tomato concasse to it. The finishing will be done with some freshly picked up basil sprigs. So let's proceed. Since we are using a tomato concasse, we can give the garlic a light brown color. Not burnt brown but light brown. So slowly the flavor is getting developed. We can get a very nice flavor of garlic being processed in the cooking medium. So we have got the color. Now we will be adding the ingredients one by one. The raw ingredients first and then Allow them to get cooked. In the meantime, some seasoning to be added so that the moisture can be extracted from the vegetables and they get cooked in their own moisture. So when the vegetables have been softened, we add some tomatoes. And we add the aubergines. Mix it once again. So we are going for the studying in job now. Next we are adding the tomato concasse. And we'll mix in the tomato concasse. Mm -hmm. 
followed by that some basil sprigs to be infused for flavor. So we are ready with our ratatouille, a speciality from the nice region of France. Now that we have traversed through the length and breadth of the menu, we come to the final part, the plating. We take a base of ratatouille. This will give us the necessary height as well. the chicken some mushroom the bell peppers the heart shaped croutons and finally The ring of the markets. With some sprigs of thyme. So the gourmet delight is ready. We have seen how we have prepared the cabbage chowder. Followed by that, we have prepared the pule a la rex, which is served on a bed of ratatouille, along with the pom markis. So, students, thank you very much for patience viewing of this video. I hope this video will add value to your career, to your culinary inspiration. Thank you very much.